It's the end of another month, so you know what that means. It's time for another Inside the Fitting Room video, and today I'm going to be going inside of H&M. <sighs> From what I remember, uh, going inside the fitting room at H&M is a pretty traumatic experience. I actually filmed a video inside the fitting room at H&M probably like three, four years ago. In that time in my life, I was kind of fluctuating in body size and I was trying to figure out what major retailers carried my size, especially in store, and I did not have the greatest luck at that time. And in the past, H&M has kind of been really infamous for having their sizing run extremely small. I remember back when I was probably like a size medium buying extra larges at H&M. So I don't know how this is gonna go, but I have actually gotten quite a few comments over the last few years that have said, hey Carrie, H&M has actually really extended their sizing. They've started to offer plus sizes, which what? That was definitely never a thing back then. And even in store, I think they have a lot more sizing options, even in extended sizing. I've seen a lot of people comment from various parts of the country saying that there's like a whole plus size section in their H&M at their mall. So I am outside of the mall today and I am going to go inside of an H&M. I have no real plan for what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna kind of search and see if anything's available in my size, try it on for you. Obviously H&M isn't the most sustainable company in the entire world, I recognize that, but I also recognize that it's affordable and hopefully a little bit more size inclusive for those of you that are on a budget or aren't able to find you know, plus size options either sustainably or secondhand or whatever. So I just wanna acknowledge that before I go into this. I probably won't be buying anything today unless I like absolutely fall in love with it and can't live without it But I'm down to do the experiment for the sake of science. You know what I mean? Always down to be your guinea pig and test it out for you So we're gonna head inside and see what we can find in H&M Those were words that I did not think I would say this year, but here we go So I know I say this like every time but I was truly so nervous walking into H&M for some reason I was like am I gonna get bullied by teenagers like what's the vibe gonna be and in the very front is where their divided brand was which I do think is like their kind of juniors line so there was a lot of what looked like kind of Coachella inspired stuff like very colorful bright not 100% my style but they did also have a lot of other options when it came to like neutrals and more muted colors like there was a lot to choose from so I kind of set out on a mission I always usually start with jeans just because I feel like it's easiest to kind of find and gauge what the sizing is gonna look like. So initially I didn't have the best luck, but then I did find a rack of jeans that had like a size 12 and then they had a 14, a 16, an 18, and even 20s and 22s, which I thought was really, really cool. And that's definitely not something I had seen before. I also went to another rack and found a pair of jeans in a size 14 and a 16. And since I don't really know my size, I grabbed both. I found this really cute dress in a 2XL that was like, very kind of retro 60s inspired so I gathered all of my stuff and headed to the fitting room and honestly this store had a lot of pretty decent options if I do say so myself so once I got into the fitting room I tried on my first outfit which I thought this was really cute this tee that says obsessed it was a size extra large it was $6.99 it was just kind of like a baby tee and then I found this pair of sort of like khaki jean combos and this was called the loose straight jean and I did get these in a size 18 because it was the only size close to mine that I had available and also I was doing an experiment you know I haven't shopped at H&M in a long time so I didn't actually know what my size was and as it turns out this looser pair of size 18s just was absolutely not my size it was like basically falling off of me but this is what the outfit looks like starting off with the top it was a really cute top I love brown right now I think that it's just a cute little kind of baby tee but the material is very very thin and a lot of times that happens at places like H&M just because the quality isn't ideal so keep that in mind if that's what you were looking for but I really did like this and honestly it was a nice oversized fit I could have even sized down to a large if I wanted and then moving on to the jeans yeah like I mentioned they're just too big like they're not my size at all they were lit I don't think I've ever seen a waist gap this bad in the back but they were cute overall like they definitely were a little bit short and they didn't fit me great I mean they weren't my size regardless but they didn't fit me great in all of the right places but they didn't look terrible they just weren't my size so this outfit was kind of meh for me it just wasn't 
doing much, but I did really like the shirt, so that was noteworthy. The next outfit I tried on was starting with this cute green shirt. I loved the print on it, and I loved that it was kind of like this sort of, I don't know, exposed hem, like inside out type of look. I think that's very cute and trendy right now. It was $12.99, a size extra large, and then I found the same pair of jeans that I tried on previously, but just in a different wash, and these were a size 14, so I was like, okay, maybe since the 18 was so big, we can go down to a 14 and see what that looks like, but as you can see, they were just a little bit too snug. Um, as I was kind of bending over, you can see that there's like that whole can of biscuits thing, so I was kind of conflicted about these, but the shirt was really cute. It was a weird material in that it kind of felt like moisture wicking, sort of like athletic wear type of material, so it wasn't my favorite, and it was actually kind of making me more sweaty, but it did look really cute, and the jeans were adorable, I will say that. As far as the sizing goes, I, yeah, again, it was just, they were a little bit too tight, and I know that I've heard that with rigid jeans, you do kind of have to break them in, like there's a breaking in period, but I would need to size up in these. They were just too tight for me. They weren't comfortable. I noticed that most of the jeans they had on the floor were the same style, this kind of like slightly wide leg, straight leg jean, which I actually really, really liked. So I was determined to find these in my size, and I did order a size up, which we'll see later. But for the next outfit, I tried on this kind of like sweater tank top. I picked it up in a size large, because I was kind of picking up on the fact that a lot of the sizes were kind of true to size, surprising to me. So I also picked out this skirt. This is kind of like a 90s-esque skirt. This is a size 14, it's $29.99. And when I put it on, it actually fit. Like it was actually the perfect size. It wasn't too tight. It was a really cute little skirt. It's not necessarily my style. It does feel very 90s, but this whole outfit was really, really cute. So starting with the top, it did feel like pretty good quality. There was like a random thread that was poking out that was like a different color and it was attached so I didn't want to pull it out but it was very comfortable it was definitely my size like I really was impressed with it and then the skirt is really cute it's very adorable but I personally it's just a little shorter than I would like and I just wouldn't be able to wear bike shorts with it and that's kind of that's like a non-negotiable for me with shorts I just need to be able to wear my bike shorts for chafing reasons but the fit was great I loved this little like exposed tag here that felt very 90s and nostalgic to me it felt like a really good fit. I'm really impressed with the sizing so far, but it just wasn't like 100% the skirt for me. Adorable, but just not my style. Next up, we had this really cute, very cropped top that had a matching bottoms, but I couldn't find the matching bottoms in my size. So I grabbed the top in a size extra large. It was $17.99 and I love this kind of like scallop detailing. And then the shorts I got to go with it were kind of like a longer form of shorts. I've been a big fan of longer shorts for this summer and I got these in a size 14 and I wanted to see if, because they were a different style, if they fit differently and they were still too small. It just wasn't the right fit. They looked good, but just a little bit too snug in the waist. But overall, the outfit was cute. It wasn't 100% my style, but still adorable. And I really liked the top and just like how cropped it was. It hit at all the right places for me. I loved the back of the top. It like tied up a little bit. I thought that was a really pretty touch. I will say though, I probably could have sized down to a large, especially because at like kind of the neckline of the top, it was was a little bit loose and like if I bent over you would definitely be able to see stuff. And then for the shorts, they just weren't perfect for me. They were a little bit tight around the leg and if I'm gonna wear a little bit of a longer form of short, I want it to be loose. I want it to be able to be like kind of relaxed and flowy and these just felt a little bit more like a Bermuda style short, which just isn't my style of choice. So these were cute, but it just wasn't the outfit for me. Next, I found this really cute, like, I guess bathing suit slash bodysuit. I think it's maybe both. I'm not sure, but it's this really pretty orange color. I loved it. I found it in a size large. It's $24.99. And then to go with it, I found the same pair of jeans as before that I tried on in a 14, but this pair is a 16. And like pretty much all of the jeans that they had on the floor were this loose straight style, which I was completely fine with because that's what I was looking for anyways. These were a size 16, they were $19.99. And then when I put on that top or that bodysuit, I was like, what is going on? But putting the jeans on, they fit great. I was so pleased with them and they're such a good price. Like I was like, do I need to go home with these? But yeah, going back to the top, 
absolutely not. Like whose boobs were these made for? Definitely not mine. <laughs> it just wasn't the right fit, but just ignore the top and look at the jeans. For a $20 pair of jeans, these kind of were amazing. I mean, they weren't perfect by any means. I did still have a waist gap. That happens a lot when I wear rigid jeans. That's just kind of a thing, but they fit nice and snug in the waist, but not too snug. And I was really quite impressed by these jeans. If I could change one little thing about it, it would be that they were just ever so slightly shorter than I would like. I am a tall girl, I'm like 5'9", so if I could change one thing, I would just lengthen them a tiny bit, but they were pretty great. Like I loved the rips at the knees. I loved the width of the legs. Like I was actually pretty impressed by these jeans. And then moving on, I found this really cute kind of like heathered brown dress with these cute little hip cutouts. And I was like, okay, I'm interested in this. And this was in a size extra large. It was $17.99. And putting it on, I was actually pretty impressed by it. I thought it was pretty cute. I didn't love the fact that my bra was showing in the cutouts. I kind of wish they were maybe a little bit lower. So I don't know if I would be able to wear a bra. And then it did kind of like stick out on the sides of the dress. And like, I'm going back to what I said before where I feel like H&M is way more true to size now because wearing this as a size extra large and wearing it in an extra large and having it be kind of like even slightly too big is kind of monumental, especially for H&M. So I was actually pretty overall pleased with the sizing. It's just this dress specifically wasn't necessarily the dress for me. It was just kind of a no, but still cute nonetheless. And then the last outfit was this really cute, kind of almost 70, 60s, 70s inspired halter top. And it was in this kind of sweater material. It was a size extra large. It was $14.99. And then I tried to find a cute pair of light colored jeans to go with it. And this was a different style called the Loose Mom Fit. These were in a size 16, they were $24.99. And as soon as I put them on, I was like, oh no, absolutely not. Nope. <laughs> we'll get into more of the pants in a second, but the top was really adorable. I really liked it. I thought it was a super cute halter top. And honestly, I probably could have even sized down to a size large in it. So again, super impressed with the sizing that I was seeing. And then as far as the jeans go, yeah, like they just weren't, if, I like that they were an oversized kind of loose look, but to me, these just looked like they were too big. Like they weren't fitting in all the right places. So I would have needed to size down and I just didn't love the style. I didn't think that any of like the proportions were doing anything for me. Um, it wasn't doing me any favor. So I decided to call it a day and head back to the car. Okay, I am profusely sweating, but we made it back into the car and I have quite a few thoughts about that. Honestly, compared to my experience a couple of years ago, that was night and day. Like truly, I'm kind of shocked. There were definitely slim pickings when it came to extended sizing in store and there was definitely no like plus size section. It was just a few of the items had extended sizes. Most of the time I saw a lot of size fours, a lot of size sixes and then like the occasional size 12 and then maybe sprinkled in there I saw some like you know 14s and 16s as you saw and then I saw like one pair of jeans that had 20s and 22s but still I found quite a few double XLs like a lot more options were available in store which then makes me think that there's just way more options online I don't want to applaud bare minimum progress but I do think that there have been massive improvements since the last time I was in there there were plus size workers in there and they were wearing really cute outfits and I just have to say like that was a pretty nice experience overall like I really can't complain I don't feel bad about myself at all you know when I left like American Eagle and Abercrombie for example I didn't feel fantastic about myself so to be able to walk into a store and have a pretty decent selection of different options in my size and in sizes larger than mine like was pretty great so take that with a grain of salt and if this isn't your type of thing that's totally fine but I definitely had a good fitting room experience today and I can't believe I'm saying that at H&M of all places honestly I'm walking away unscathed which is kind of rare I hope you all enjoyed this video and you took something from it and if there are any other fitting rooms you want to see me test out next definitely let me know in the comments below I'm sending you all of my love thank you so much for being here and I will see you very soon in my next video bye